Well, good evening, good evening, good evening, and uh, welcome to Monday Night Live at Kadam. I am your host, I am John Evans. The sign up sheet is out at 8.30 on a Monday night. And for all of you who didn't show up tonight, well, this will be on YouTube so you can see it later. <laughs>
little introductory offer. <laughs>
instrumentals there. I like to for my uh, symphonies with a short attention span. Uh, no, just jamming with Edward. Oh uh, no, when I put on the hat, other different things happen. <laughs> See, and then I put on all that hat and just go back to being like, you know, just like, you know, the host of the uh, Monday Night Live at the Dan. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, uh, do we have an Andy Lowen? Lowen? Lawyer? Water?
storytelling from the uh, from the mind of Alex Bosworth. Yeah, give him a hand. Come on, he's getting up here. Attention, this is some delightful storytelling from the uh, from the mind of Alex Bosworth. Yeah, give him a hand. Come on, he's getting up here. <laughs> Suddenly your life is filled with suspense and intrigue. This makes your brain feel vital and alive. Over the mountain. A man runs through a darkened forest, doggedly pursued by two grizzly bears. He attempts to scale the nearest tree, but an enormous claw catches him by the shoulder and tosses him to the ground. A few swipes across the chest, a quick bite to the jugular vein, and it's over. The bear who's made the kill lifts her head to the sky and lets loose with a victorious roar before settling down to feed. After a while, 
She looks up from her meal to find her mate sitting a few yards away, idly swatting at a dandelion. What, you're not gonna eat? She asks him. No, I'll just have some berries later, maybe catch a fish. But there's food right here, she says, gesturing at the partially eaten carcass. Come on, dig in. Yeah, well the thing is, I don't eat human flesh anymore. Since when, she inquires. Since I came across something disturbing. What are you talking about? I'd rather not say while you're eating. Well, I'm not going to take another bite until you tell me. Okay, fine, he sighs. They shoot poison into their faces. Say what? Humans pay to have poison shot into their faces. Where did you hear this? Oh, the other night, while I was raiding the garbage cans outside the ranger station, I looked through the window and they were watching this show about people having this deadly toxin called botulism injected into the skin around their eyes, nose, and mouth. You're shitting me, she gasped. Hey, would I shit a bear in the woods? No, apparently this botulism stuff deadens the facial nerves, which helps them look younger. The female stares at him, warm blood dripping from her jaws. That's got to be the sickest thing I've ever heard of. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, but big deal, so we don't eat their faces. No, you're missing the point, he says, shaking his head. You know how sometimes you're out hunting, and you see a nice fat badger, and you think that might be good for lunch? But then you notice that this badger is running around in circles with foam coming out of his mouth? You're not going to eat him now, are you? Well, of course not. He's obviously gone mad. Bingo. I'm just following my natural instinct not to eat the insane. I'll eat bugs, I'll eat worms, hell, I'll even turn into a rotting skunk if that's all I can find. But I refuse to eat any animal crazy enough to paralyze its own face. The female looks down at the corpse, then back up at her mate. So, you're not going to help me finish this camper? I'm sorry, honey, I, I can't. I, I'm just not putting that into my body. Well, I guess this means you won't be going on any hunting trips with me anymore? Oh, I'm still going to kill people, he says, slicing the dandelion's head off with a single razor-sharp nail. But from now on, it's strictly for sport. This year, Halloween really caught me by surprise. All these children came to my door, and I hadn't bought any candy, so one kid got a used 9-volt battery. I gave another a half a pack of cigarettes, and the rest got various expired uh, and medications. I could tell they would have preferred candy, but that stuff was so bad for them. Anyway, that's what I told their parents. Needless to say, I spent Halloween night in jail. That's three years in a row now. Thank God my mother posted bail because those guys in the joint practice a very unpleasant version of trick-or-treat. That alien that used to abduct and probe me doesn't come around anymore. I hear he got married. It's not that I miss the probing, but I have to admit, my Tuesday nights seem kind of empty now. Don't you hate rhetorical questions? Get off the stage, you miserable kid. Okay, we got a guitar player coming back up here. We're going to leave the room. Down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Bosworth. Really? I mean, come on, you know, I mean, you may not have heard it tonight in the bar, but you can get it on YouTube, okay? It's Monday Night Live at Kadam. Check it out. Oh, yeah, back on the guitar.
So I said I have this uh, rainbow trapped in my eye. Light travels in curves, Einstein replied. He found it to Alpha Centauri, where Jimi Hendrix gave him the news. Yeah, I ran into him later with his relatives still in tow, haunting the hot spots of Jupiter. Yeah, after a heavy drink, I saw light travel in curves.
KGB and the Red Army. It's all a joke, man. It's all a joke. There's no such thing as a liberal. There ain't no such thing as a conservative. We're all just people. All conflicts are local. All politics are tribal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see who is up next. <laughs> Next we have Brian. Brandon Hitson. Brandon. Here he comes. Shakespeare, here we go. Here's a Sonnet 130. My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hair be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen more roses damask, red and white, but no such roses I see in her cheeks. In some perfumes there's more delight than in the breath that my mistress reeks. I love to hear her speak. Well, I know that music has a heart, more, far more pleasure in the sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven I think my love is rare, as any belied with false compare. Wow. Right on both scales against either scale, who committed treason enough, for God's sake, yet could not equivocate to heaven. Oh, come in, equivocate. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Hey, here's an English tailor. Come hither. We're stealing our French hose. Come in, Taylor. <laughs> Here you may roast your goose. Knock, knock, knock. Never at quiet. Where are you? But this place is too cold for hell. I'll devil porter it no further. I had thought to have let in some of the professions that go the primrose way to the everlasting bonfire. Knock. Anon, anon. I pray you to come with a porter. Thank you. Anon, anon, anon. Excellent. States left. What's next? <laughs> well, look at this. Uh, I got the, I got the list. I got the list. And next up, we have uh, Austin Brown. Man, come down. And he says he's got something to say. A little spoken word. How are you folks doing tonight? Great. This will be uh, short and sweet. 
cover of something like I'm changing, things are affecting me, this range is in full effect of a solar eclipse, my skin is thick, my heart like a brick, like I've lost someone and that's just said I've lost myself. But I'm not really searching, I say I'm the new me, though not really certain under this semen epidermis, I'm sick, but not really hurting. My eyes veil behind an iron curtain, quiet as kept, I just keep working to push past the fact I'm only half a person with half a purpose. Thoughts rushing through my head, is this really worth it? Cause I'm feeling worthless. But at least I'm writing again, not only that I'm fighting again, as though my conscience has gone into hiding again, but easily found with the proper light in my twin is on the ones and twos, while I spit the blues, sliding from A to B. Thank you. Oh, well said and well spoken. Yes, indeed. Uh, I got one. For all my creative explosions, I'm just a force of erosion. Every house I played in has been torn down.